All right, welcome back to SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass, and this is things I think about. But I wanted to be outside, and I wanted to shoot, but I just, I didn't want to sit in front of my little normal routine. I made these. Check those out. Those cool. I'll show you how to make those. For those of you that want to know, I shoot my little Mongolian bow for a little bit today, and I guess the topic would be it's only yours for as long as you can keep it right you got to stay alive right and once you uh <laughs> once you're gone it's somebody else's right becomes somebody else's so i got to thinking about bug out bags right and you know some uh some fella said to me that you know you can you know he keeps some ammo in there like uh some 22 ammo and like some pill bottles and things like that inside of his kit. He can trade with that, right? Little bottles of alcohol, booze, right? So he can trade. Packs of cigarettes. Smokes. I don't know. Roll your own. You know, the little bugle, bugle boy. What was it? What was the other one? Prince Albert in a can. <laughs> What's the joke? <laughs> call somebody hey man you got Prince Albert in the can you better let him out <laughs> that went far left I must have been giggling when I shot that one <laughs> don't make me laugh if I'm shooting at you right <laughs> all right so the thing is like the wandering traveler and you know people would suggest I would suggest it right it's redundancy you need to have more options right more options available keeping stuff like that in your bag no big deal but also keep money keep cash in there keep keep it broke up like uh, uh individual five dollar bills or something like that you know it that way you can break it up a little bit there's just going to be some cases where this is this is before all hell breaks loose you know before it gets crazy you want to be able to have some money what if you need to buy gas? It hasn't gotten crazy yet. People are just waiting in line, right? And then you got you got one guy in front of you that's got like little bottles of booze. You got a guy behind you with packs of cigarettes. You got another dude that's got uh, some ammunition. But you have $40 in your pocket, right? And you need to buy, these knocks aren't so good, but they work. I made these. Don't knock it. <laughs> so anyways, if uh, you're the guy with the cash, you need 20 bucks in gasoline. You know, gas prices are going to spike. You've got 40 bucks in your pocket. 40 bucks will probably get you that, that gas. You I mean, you might have to do, it depends on what you're dealing with. If it's a regular old gas station, you might actually still get it for 20 to 20, right? Something along those lines. But it makes me think, makes me think of a uh, war of the worlds right i said not the you know the one with tom cruise in it the crappy one the van the only van that ran the only for some reason he was the only guy who had a van that ran and and put down the highway and uh, here comes the mobs the mobs of people are coming at him banging on the van give me the van get out get it give me a ride I want that van then a guy produces a gun give me the van Tom Cruise now he convinces he convinces the guy to give to uh to let him get his kids out and gets his kids out and what happens another guy with a gun shoots the guy who just stole the van with a gun then it's like a vicious cycle all you hear is screams pop 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 all over the place probably the best scene of the whole movie that's probably about it the whole the whole movie i mean it yeah anyway see he didn't make me laugh so i was able to shoot anyway there's that wandering traveler you're trading you you're you're you have to sleep you're gonna have to sleep at some point 
and thinking you're gonna you're gonna sit around and uh, trade with folks and they're gonna be somebody's gonna be taking note someone's gonna be there watching you and saying you know what I want what he's got and he's gonna have to sleep he might go to sleep and not wake up right and that bag that kit all that stuff's gonna be gone if you've got a lot of stuff right if you've got a lot of stuff Someone's probably going to want to take it. And there's people that will tell, you know, if you go, if you're someone out there, everyone's different. All of you are out there different, you know. We can't all carry the same. We can't all do the same thing. And for some cases, for most folks, just grabbing their wallet, their keys, their gun is probably going to be their best bet at survival. Just saying. You know, some people probably don't need a lot of stuff. For some folks... They're going to need a get home bag, a minimalist kit. It's just a standard everyday items. You get to thinking about, I've got a wallet. I've got some money, right? I could rent a hotel room for the night. Things just went sideways. I'm coming back. I'm coming back home. Why would I go grabbing so much crap to bring with me? Why would I need depends on the circumstances if I don't need a bug out bag if I don't need a shelter system a full tent everything's designed on camping right if everything is based off of camping I need an e-tool I'm gonna need a rollout mat you know all these different things these different items that I didn't need keep it in the trunk you know it's stuff I already keep in my trunk anyways that's something you should have in your trunk but have a get home bag do you really want to carry your bug out bag 20 miles, 30 miles, 40 miles, that's what you're looking at. You're gonna be looking at like a like a 20 mile hump. 20 miles with even 60, 70 pounds of gear. Some people out there have that much gear on their back. And it doesn't make sense to me. Why would I wanna carry that much weight on my back, 20 miles, if all hell hasn't broken loose? And it's just a normal everyday thing. I left town because tornado warnings or uh, hurricane evacuation or, you know, <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be a strange day for CHP when they come rolling up. Hey, where are you headed? <laughs> you got an AR-15 right here. You know, you're all kitted out. <laughs> I'm just saying. None of that would make any sense. So a minimalist kit, right? Something, you know. Keep your pistol tucked in your waistband. Conceal carry. You gotta walk on foot. That would make more sense. It'd keep you alive, right? Wouldn't put you in danger. You wouldn't be a threat to anybody. You know, most people probably wouldn't even notice you, right? That's the way it should be. And a pack that doesn't look ridiculous. No Molly stuff all over it. Camo, everything. Like if I'm wearing this camo hat and stuff, people are gonna be like, who's that guy? You know, if I'm just wearing a, a flannel shirt, you know, and some black sneakers, you know, a pair of Levi's. Nah, I don't like Levi's anymore. Can't pick them, let's pick somebody else. They're anti-gun related or something, I can't remember. <laughs> if someone gives me a pair of Levi's, I'm gonna wear them. That's just the way it is. This is like Nikes, right? I'm still gonna wear it. Woo, another good one. So, I'm losing my point, I'm rambling again. This is me rambling. This is what I do, and I like to ramble. What was my point? The other thing, this is this is another good one, right? When someone comes, like for me, right? If I came to you, say you know what you're doing, right? Show up to your house. We sit down at the table. I've never built a bug out bag before or anything, any kits. Just pretend. Let's pretend. I let's live in the world of ridiculous and I show up to your house, I sit down, and I say, hey, how do I build a bug out bag? You know, I'm talking to whoever, you know, uh, Susie, whoever, you know, how do I build a bug out bag? Susie happens to know a lot about bug out bags. Well, first off, you're going to need this. If it starts off like that, it's completely wrong. You should be asking, you know, well, BA, how much can you carry? And what do you think you need? What's the situation, right? You're gonna ask them questions. What do you need? What's the circumstances here? 
are you capable, are you incapable of certain things? Not everybody can carry that much crap. Not everybody can do certain things. So you have to like look at the individual. You know, I went, you know, there's been several situations where I've been sitting down in, in little locations, meeting up with folks, and I've, you know, I've been situations where a person would tell me, hey, I can't do that. You know, there's no way. There's no way I could carry that much crap. And what would I carry? Base it down all the way to a fanny pack or something. Something small. And then do the basics. Just up a little mini flashlight, right? Small flashlight, you got light, see where you're going. Big lighter, you can light a fire. Just saying. I don't need 30 pounds of kit to get it done. I can still do the same thing with less in different circumstances. Just temporarily to get me by. Because <sighs> in the beginning, it's not going to be that way. So you got to keep that in mind. But then when it starts going really sideways, that's when you need all the good stuff, right? But for get home situations, I wouldn't say a person needs that much crap on them. And it could get you killed. And it ain't going to matter if you did. And getting spotted bug out situations different bug out vehicles you know if you drive a, a red Chevy Z71 let's just pretend let's make some stuff up here say Billy drives a red Z71 and he's got a little trailer behind him he's hauling all of his stuff he's getting out of Dodge and he's gonna get seen by a lot of people and they're gonna want what he's got just saying the other thing, I mean, like in a vehicle like mine, you guys have seen, you know, what I would bug out in. I would definitely camo net that sucker, right? I was in a topic on Patreon. And the topic had led me to uh, a suggestion that I'd never mentioned. A few suggestions, multiple suggestions I'd never mentioned before. But one of those was... Uh, don't sleep where you eat. That's something to remember. Don't sleep where you eat, where you cook, right? It's gonna get you killed. Just saying. There's a lot of things. Feels good today. Feels really good outside. I like doing this. I don't have to keep talking. <laughs> I think that about covers what I wanted to say. Just want to finish up what's in here. Well, you got to think about it. I guarantee you the amount of stuff that I carry on my person every day, if I can't survive with that, something's wrong with me. Because there's things all around me. I mean, there's a kiddie pool sitting right behind this camera and I could flip that kiddie pool over and stand it up on some blocks and have myself a shelter in no time, right? Well, it'd be pretty obvious that there's an upside down swimming pool in the backyard, but <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> you can work with less, trust me. There's been people doing that trash for years. Last bullseye. All right, that's all I got. You're watching us, West. I'm Stassi and Badass. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day. Rainbows and unicorns. God bless. Take care.